Imagine you're just playing it safe, sticking to what you know, walking in circles because you're too afraid to take that one bold step forward. You see, without risk, you'd just be stuck where you are, living the life of could have beens and maybe next times. And at the end of the day, what story would you be left with? Just a flat line of predictability. No ups, no downs. Just one long uneventful stretch. And that's not living. That's just existing. Let me tell you something, no risk, no story, that's right. No bold moves, no exciting tales to tell. Think about it. Every great story you've ever heard, every legend you admire, every success you respect, they all start with somebody taking a risk. Risks are where the stories come from, where the courage comes from, where the victories come from. Without that leap into the unknown, that willingness to step outside of what's comfortable, you're left with the status quo. And you know what? Nobody remembers the status quo. People remember the ones who dared to be more, who didn't let fear hold them back, who took the road less travel, no matter the cost. Taking risks, that's where life gets interesting. You're absolutely right. There's always that voice whispering in the back of your mind saying, don't do it. It's too dangerous, too uncertain. But here's the thing. If you let that voice control you, you'll find yourself standing in the exact same spot for the rest of your life. Too scared to make a move, to step out of line, to dare to be different. Life isn't meant to be safe and secure at every turn. It's meant to be lived, and living means putting yourself out there, facing the unknown. And yes, sometimes even failing. But it's those failures that turn out to be the stepping stones, the experiences that shake you, that build character. Take any great story you've ever heard. Not a single one of them was built on easy wins or smooth paths. Every hero, every icon, every trailblazer behind their success is a string of failures and setbacks, each one shaping them, making them stronger, teaching them something they didn't know before. They didn't get to where they are because things always worked out in their favor. They got there because they were willing to face adversity head on to step into situations where the outcome wasn't guaranteed, where they knew they might stumble, they might fall. And they fell hard sometimes, but they got back up. They turned every failure into fuel. They didn't let setbacks end their journey. They used them to drive forward, to learn, to sharpen their skills and their minds. Think about it when you risk something, you're putting yourself in a position to change, to grow to reach a new level. You're forcing yourself to face things you never would have faced if you stayed comfortable. And comfort, it's a beautiful thing, but comfort rarely leads to greatness. Comfort keeps you safe, yes, but it also keeps you small. It keeps you from exploring the full extent of who you are and what you're capable of. Those who embrace risk know that when you're living in a bubble of security, you're holding yourself back from discovering parts of yourself you didn't even know were there. It's those who dare to step out, to take that leap into uncertainty, who end up finding themselves, who end up accomplishing things they never imagined possible. When you take risks, you're essentially saying to yourself, I'm willing to bet on me. And that is powerful. That's faith in action. That's you telling the world that you believe in your own abilities enough to try to fail if necessary and to get back up with more determination than ever before. That's how resilience is built. You don't get resilient by sticking to what's safe. You get resilient by facing challenges, by confronting your fears and by moving forward even when things don't go as planned. Every time you push through failure, Every time you refuse to let a setback hold you back, you're strengthening yourself, your resolve, and your belief in your own potential. Look at any successful person, and you'll see someone who has a story full of risks. They didn't get there by chance or by playing it safe. They had to make difficult choices, face down tough odds, 
and push through endless obstacles. But they wouldn't have it any other way. Because when you take a risk and it pays off, the feeling is like no other. And even when it doesn't pay off the way you hope, you still learn. You grow. You become better, sharper, more equipped to handle whatever comes next. And those are the stories that matter. The ones that are filled with resilience, with comebacks, with triumphs earned through sheer grit and determination. What a lot of people don't realize is that risk is a privilege. It's a chance to stretch, to see what you're made of, to break the mold. But so many people are too afraid of the downside, too caught up in the what if a failure. They're scared that if they fall, they'll never get back up. That failure will be the end of the road. But let me tell you something failure is just another part of the process. It's a lesson wrapped in tough skin. But if you look closer, you'll see it's one of the best teachers you'll ever have. It shows you what didn't work so you can figure out what will. It helps you build your story, layer by layer, chapter by chapter, until one day you look back and you see how far you've come, how much you've learned, and how much stronger you are. And here's another thing about risk. It's often the key to discovering what truly matters to you. When you risk something, you're putting a piece of yourself on the line. You're investing your time, your energy, your passion. You're giving something of yourself and that kind of commitment, that kind of intensity, it shows you what you're really made of. It reveals your true priorities, your true desires, and it makes you appreciate the journey even more because you're not just floating along, letting life happen to you. You're actively participating, you're shaping your own destiny. And that's powerful. It's exhilarating. I think about all the times I had to take a risk, all the times I didn't know if things would go my way or not. And believe me, I had my doubts. I had my fears. But I also knew that if I didn't take those risks, I'd be standing here with regrets, wondering what could have been. That's a feeling worse than any failure. Regret, it sticks with you. It follows you. But when you take a risk, even if you fail, you have the peace of knowing you tried, knowing you didn't let fear control you, that you went after something that mattered to you. And that's a story you can be proud of. You see, life is short. You don't have time to be sitting on the sidelines, playing it safe, hoping that things will just magically fall into place. You have to get out there. You have to put yourself on the line. You have to make things happen. Because at the end of the day, it's the risks you took, the chances you didn't shy away from that shape your story. It's not about always winning or always getting it right. It's about having the courage to step into the unknown, to face the possibility of failure, and to keep moving forward no matter what. The world doesn't remember people who played it safe. The world remembers the bold, the daring, the ones who weren't afraid to put themselves out there. They're the ones who leave a mark, who inspire others, who change the game. So take that risk. Write your own story. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to stand up after you fall. Because in the end, it's not about how many times you fell, it's about how many times you got back up. And that right there is what makes a life worth living. That's what makes a story worth telling. Risk taking, it's not just about going after success. It's about finding out who you really are. Because when you start taking those steps outside of your comfort zone, you start revealing layers of yourself you didn't even know were there. You're not just facing the world. You're facing yourself. You're looking at your own fears, your own doubts, and saying, I'm bigger than this. You're pushing past what you once thought were limits. And every time you push a little further, every time you stretch just beyond what you thought was possible, you're building strength. 
You're adding resilience layer by layer. You're becoming the kind of person who doesn't back down when things get tough, but who rises to meet the challenge. See, every risk you take, every decision to step out of the familiar, it leaves a mark on you. It builds you, molds you, adds character. And not just in the big dramatic moments, but in the small everyday choices too. Every time you face a fear, every time you take a step forward despite the unknown, you're laying down a foundation. It's a foundation made up of all the times you were brave, all the times you believed in yourself, even when others doubted you, even when you doubted yourself. And that foundation, it's solid because it's been tested. It's been built up not by easy wins, but by battles, by challenges, by lessons you earn through hard work and perseverance. Now, let me tell you, the kind of strength that comes from taking risks is the kind of strength that sticks with you. It's not some fleeting confidence that disappears the moment things get rough. No, this is the kind of strength that holds you steady when the storm comes. It's a strength rooted in knowing what you've been through, what you've overcome. It's the kind of resilience that only comes from having faced your fears, from having walked into the unknown and come out the other side. And that's not something anyone can take away from you. That's something that stays, something that shapes you and carries you through life. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying every risk you take is going to work out just the way you hoped. There will be times when you stumble, when things don't go according to plan. But even in those moments, you're gaining something. You're learning something that you couldn't have learned any other way. The lessons that come from failure, those are the ones that stick. Those are the ones that teach you how to be resilient, how to act, how to bounce back. Because let's face it, life isn't going to hand you everything on a silver platter. You're going to have to fight for it, to earn it, to go after it, even when the odds aren't in your favor. And it's in those moments when you're facing challenges head on that you really start to see what you're made of. But don't get me wrong. Taking risk doesn't mean throwing yourself into situations without a second thought. It's not about being reckless. It's about making a choice with intention, about looking at the options in front of you and deciding that the potential reward is worth the effort, worth the risk. It's about being smart, about weighing the pros and cons, about understanding what you're putting on the line and why. And once you've made that choice, once you've committed, then you have to give it everything you've got. You can't half step. You can't go into it with hesitation, with second guessing. You have to be all in. Because if you're not, then you're already setting yourself up for failure. There's a difference between taking calculated risks and just leaping without thinking. The people who succeed, the people who go far, they're the ones who know how to walk that line. They're not just out there taking chances for the sake of it. They're making moves with purpose, with strategy, with intention. They're not reckless, but they're bold. They understand that sometimes you have to step into the unknown, that you have to be willing to put something on the line if you want to achieve something great. They're not afraid to bet on themselves, to believe in their own potential, even when the outcome isn't guaranteed. And here's something you need to remember. Life is short. We only get so much time, so many opportunities. And if you spend that time playing it safe, staying within the lines, then you're going to look back one day and wonder, what could I have done? Who could I have been? That's not a burden you want to carry. Regret, that's one of the heaviest burdens there is. Because there's no going back, no second chances. But when you take risks, even if things don't work out exactly as you planned, at least you'll know that you tried. At least you'll know that you didn't let fear hold you back, that you weren't content to just sit on the sidelines while life passed you by. There's a kind of peace that comes with that. 
there's a pride in knowing that you gave it your all that you weren't afraid to go after what you wanted and that's a powerful thing because at the end of the day it's not about whether you succeeded or failed in every single attempt it's about the journey the growth the lessons learned along the way it's about knowing that you had the courage to try that you were willing to put yourself out there to face the unknown that's what makes a life worth living that's what makes a story worth telling people will tell you to be cautious to be careful to avoid taking too many risks but those same people they're usually the ones who never ventured beyond what was safe who never took a chance on their dreams who stayed comfortable but never grew and that's fine for them but if you want more if you want to achieve something beyond the ordinary then you have to be willing to do what most people won't you have to be willing to step outside of your comfort zone to embrace the unknown to take that risk when you do you start seeing the world differently you start seeing yourself differently you start understanding that you're capable of more than you ever realize that you have a strength inside you that only shows itself when you're put to the test and that's a beautiful thing that's something worth striving for worth fighting for it's not just about achieving success it's about becoming the kind of person who can handle success who can handle failure who can handle whatever life throws your way so don't shy away from taking risks don't let fear dictate your choices don't let the possibility of failure keep you from going after what you want because at the end of the day the biggest risk is not taking any risks at all the biggest risk is letting life pass you by while you stand on the sidelines watching waiting hoping for something to happen without ever making a move yourself that's not living that's just existing and you were made for more than that you were made to live to experience to grow you were made to take chances to push boundaries to see what's possible and every time you take a risk you're doing just that you're giving yourself the opportunity to grow to learn to become something greater than you were before so embrace that embrace the challenges the setbacks the failures embrace the unknown the uncertainty the thrill of stepping into something new because when you look back on your life it's not going to be the moments when you played it safe that stand out it's going to be the times when you took a chance when you dared to be bold when you faced your fears and went after what you wanted those are the moments that define you that shape you that make your life worth remembering so go out there and take those risks bet on yourself believe in your own potential don't let fear hold you back don't let doubt keep you small step into the unknown face the challenges embrace the journey because in the end it's not the easy moments that make a story worth telling it's the risks the setbacks the comebacks it's the resilience the courage the determination that's what makes a life worth living and that's what makes a story worth telling taking risks isn't just about changing your life it's about changing the lives around you when you make a choice to face fear when you step up and say i'm going after this people notice it's like a ripple in the water the courage you show reaches out and touches others they see you breaking out of the norm going after what matters to you and it makes them wonder if maybe just maybe they could do the same you're giving them an example to look up to showing them that they don't have to be limited by fear that they don't have to settle you're giving them permission to dream bigger to reach a little further to make moves they once thought were impossible imagine what that does when someone sees you take a risk it's like a door opens it shows them that they're not bound by their circumstances by what people say they're capable of or even by what they used to believe about themselves that's legacy building right there 
You're laying down a path for others to follow, showing them that the only limits are the ones we accept. And that legacy, it's going to outlive you. Long after you've moved on, those ripples of courage and inspiration will still be traveling outward, reaching people you may never even meet. That's what makes life worth living. That's what makes a life not just well-lived, but truly significant. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be some earth-shattering, massive leap to make a difference. Sometimes it's the small steps, the ones that only push you a little out of your comfort zone, that start the biggest changes. When you take those smaller risks, the ones that are just a bit uncomfortable, you're building confidence. You're proving to yourself that you can handle it, that you're capable of doing hard things, of stepping into the unknown and coming out stronger. And as you build that confidence, you start to realize that you're capable of even more. Those small steps add up. They create a momentum before you know it, you're taking bigger strides, facing challenges head on and becoming a person who's ready for whatever comes next. Once you start, something shifts inside you. You begin to look at little differently. Instead of seeing risk as something to avoid, you start to see it as part of the journey. You develop a mindset that's open to growth, open to change, open to the possibility that there's more waiting for you. And with that mindset, failure stops being something to fear. It becomes a part of the process, a stepping stone on the path to success. You begin to understand that every time you hear no, you're just getting one step closer to yes. Every setback, every stumble, every time you hit a wall, it's setting you up for a comeback. It's adding to your story, giving you the experiences that will shape who you are, who you become. Life doesn't go in a straight line. It's full of curves, detours, highs and lows. You're going to face moments that test you, that make you question everything, that make you wonder if it's all worth it. But if you're willing to take those risks, to keep pushing, to keep going after what you want even when it's hard, then you're going to have a life that's rich. You're going to have a life that's full of experiences, full of stories, full of growth. And when you look back, you're going to be proud of the story you've lived of the risks you took, of the resilience you found along the way. People are drawn to courage. They see it and it inspires them. When you're willing to take risks, you're giving others the courage to take their own. You're setting a standard, showing them that it's possible, that they don't have to live in fear, that they can step out and go after what they want. And that's powerful. Because once you've inspired someone, once you've given them that spark of courage, it's like a fire that keeps spreading. They go out, they take their own risks, they reach for their own dreams, and then they inspire someone else. It's a cycle, a legacy that you're building with every step you take. And every time you take a risk, you're not just building a story for yourself. You're building a foundation of strength and courage that others can see and learn from. Think about that for a moment. Think about what it would mean if everyone took just one step outside of their comfort zone. If everyone went after just one dream, faced just one fear. Imagine the kind of world that would create, the kind of impact that would have. That's the power of risk. It's not just about changing your life. It's about creating a ripple effect that changes the world around you. Now, don't get it twisted. Taking risks doesn't mean throwing caution to the wind, being reckless or making moves without thinking. It means making choices with intention. It means being smart about your decisions, understanding what's at stake and committing fully once you've made that choice. You weigh the options, you understand the pros and cons, and they step forward with purpose. And once you've decided that the potential reward is worth it, you go for it with everything you've got. You give it your all. And you don't look back. That's how you create success. That's how you build a story worth telling. But here's the truth. Not every risk is going to lead to success. 
Not every move you make is going to work out just the way you plan. You're going to face setbacks. You're going to face failures. But that's part of the journey. That's part of what makes the story interesting. What makes it worth telling. Because if everything came easy, if there were no challenges, no obstacles, no failures, then there'd be no growth. There'd be no resilience, no lessons learned, no depth to your character. It's the risks, the setbacks, the moments when you have to dig deep and find the strength to keep going that make the story worth telling. And as you keep going, as you keep taking those steps forward, you'll find that you're capable of handling more than you ever thought possible. You'll find that every challenge, every failure, every no you hear is just one more piece of the puzzle, one more part of the story. It's shaping you, building you, preparing you for what's next. And when you finally reach that moment of success, when you achieve what you've been working for, it's going to be that much sweeter because of everything you went through to get there. The truth is, nobody remembers the people who played it safe, who stuck to what was comfortable, who never stepped outside of the norm. The people who make a difference the people who leave a legacy are the ones who dared to take risks. They're the ones who face fear, who went after their dreams, who didn't let the possibility of failure hold them back. They're the ones who created a story worth telling, who lived a life worth remembering. So if you want that kind of life, if you want that kind of story, then you've got to be willing to take the risk. You've got to be willing to put yourself out there to face the unknown, to push past the fear and go after what you want. Because at the end of the day, it's not about whether you succeed or fail. It's about the journey, the growth, the person you become along the way. It's about the impact you have on others, the inspiration you leave behind, the legacy you create. That's what makes life worth living. And when you look back years from now, you're not going to remember the times you played it safe. You're going to remember the risks you took, the challenges you faced, the times you fell down and got back up. You're going to remember the moments when you were brave enough to go after what you wanted, even when the odds were against you. That's what's going to stay with you. That's what's going to make you proud of the life you lived. So don't let fear hold you back. Don't let doubt keep you from going after what you want. Take the risk, face the unknown, and trust that you have what it takes to handle whatever comes your way. Because at the end of the day, the biggest risk is not taking any risks at all. The biggest risk is letting life pass you by while you stand on the sidelines, waiting, hoping, but never acting. Don't let that be your story. Live boldly, take risks, create a life that's full, that's rich, that's meaningful. Create a life that's worth talking about. A life that leaves a legacy, a life that inspires others to go out and do the same. So here's my challenge to you. Take a risk. Don't wait for that perfect moment because let me tell you, it doesn't exist. Life doesn't wait around for you to feel absolutely ready for all the pieces to fall neatly into place. Sometimes all you get is that nudge in your gut that tells you it's time. You may not feel prepared, in fact, you probably won't. But you've got to take that leap of faith to trust that you'll figure it out along the way. You don't have to know every answer, every detail, or every step you'll take. All you need is the willingness to try the courage to step forward and the resilience to keep going no matter what challenges you meet along the way. It's easy to get stuck in someday thinking, waiting for the stars to align for that day when you'll feel invincible. But life doesn't work that way. That perfect day, it may never come. So you've got to go now, take a chance now, make a move now. Because life is moving, and every second you spend waiting is a second you could be out there living. You don't have to have every skill mastered or every detail worked out. You don't need a crystal ball to see the future. You just need to be willing to step out there into the unknown 
and trust yourself enough to know you'll handle whatever comes. And let's get one thing clear, no risk, no story. That's the truth of it. The tales worth telling, the ones that inspire us, that make us lean in, those stories aren't born from playing it safe. They're born from stepping into the unknown, from taking a chance, from saying, I don't know how this will end, but I'm going for it anyway. And sure, there's a chance you could fail. Maybe you make a mistake. Maybe you fall short of the goal. Maybe it doesn't go how you planned. But so what? You pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you try again because failure? It's not the end of the story. It's just a plot twist. A chance to learn, to grow, to build that strength that you're going to need for the next step. And when you look back, I promise you those moments where you stumbled, those moments when you felt the sting of falling short, those will be the moments that shape you the most, that give you the strength and resilience to keep pushing forward. Your life is a story. And here's the thing, you are the author. You hold the pen. You get to decide how it unfolds. You get to decide whether you're going to play it safe or take a chance, whether you're going to settle for what's comfortable or reach for what's possible. Don't let fear keep you on the sidelines. Don't let doubt hold you back from trying, from going after what you want. Go out there, take that risk, write your story and make it a story worth telling. Because when it all comes down to it, that's what life is about. It's about those moments that make you feel alive, those moments that push you to your limits, that remind you of what you're truly capable of. Look, there's something so powerful about taking a risk. When you're standing at the edge with fear and excitement dancing in your chest and you decide to win any way, that's where the magic happens. That's where you grow. That's where you find out who you are. You learn that you're stronger than you thought, braver than you believed, and that you can handle a lot more than you ever gave yourself credit for. Taking risk isn't about being reckless. It's about being willing to grow, willing to step into new territory, willing to evolve. Now, you might be wondering, what if I fall? What if it doesn't work out? And I'll tell you, yeah, there's always a chance you might fall. There's always a chance it won't go the way you planned. But if you never take that risk, you're guaranteeing that nothing will change. You're choosing to stay exactly where you are with the same story, the same experiences, the same limitations. But when you take that leap, when you decide to give it a shot, you open yourself up to possibility. You open yourself up to growth, to new perspectives, to a life that's bigger than you thought was possible. And here's the truth, the biggest regret isn't in failing, it's in never trying. It's looking back and wondering what could have been, what you could have achieved if you'd just taken that risk. When you're 80, 90 years old, looking back on your life, you're not going to remember the things that went smoothly the times you played it safe. You're going to remember the risks you took, the moments you dared to step out of your comfort zone, the times you went after what mattered to you even when you weren't sure how it would turn out. Those are the memories that are going to stay with you, the moments that will bring a smile to your face that you'll be proud of. And don't think that taking risk always means going after some grand, world-changing goal. Sometimes it's the small risks that make the biggest impact. It's having that tough conversation, trying something new, putting yourself out there in a way that scares you just a little. Those small steps build courage, build confidence, and before you know it, they lead you to bigger leaps. It's like climbing a mountain. You don't start by leaping to the top. You start by taking one step, then another, then another. Each step builds on the last, each one taking you higher, closer to the life you want, the life you're capable of living. And you know what? 
you'll find that once you start taking risks, something changes inside you. You stop seeing failure as something to avoid and you start seeing it as part of the process. You begin to understand that every no you get, every setback is just one step closer to yes. You start to see that every fall is just another lesson, another chance to grow, another piece of your story. And that's powerful because then nothing can hold you back. Not fear, not doubt, not failure. You realize that you have the strength to get back up, to keep going, to make it to the other side. Life is a journey full of twists, turns, highs and lows. It's not a straight line and it's not supposed to be. You're going to face moments of joy and moments of pain, times when you feel on top of the world and times when you feel like you're at rock bottom. But if you're willing to take risks, to put yourself out there, to keep moving forward, you're going to have a life that's rich, rich, that's full, that's truly worth living. You're going to have a story that you're proud to tell, a story that's filled with courage, resilience, growth. Because when you take risks, when you decide to live boldly, you're not just creating a story for yourself, you're setting an example for others. You're inspiring those around you to go after what they want, to face their own fears, to write their own stories. You're showing them that life is meant to be lived, that it's okay to go after what you want, to reach beyond what's comfortable, to strive for something more. And that's a legacy. That's something that lives on long after you're gone. That's a story that leaves an impact, a story that's worth remembering. So don't wait. Don't wait for the perfect moment, the perfect circumstances, the perfect plan. Go out there and live. Take that leap, take that chance. Embrace the unknown. Step into the adventure that is your life. And when it's all said and done, when you look back, you'll have a story that's rich, that's full, that's yours. You'll have a life that you can be proud of, a life that's worth telling, no risk, no story. That's the truth of it. And it's up to you to make it a story worth living. The choice is yours and the time is now.